Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies. So, in today's uh, session, so I am explaining about how to create a form using a form builder uh, that is using form 6i in D2K. So, when you install D2K, uh, it comes with mainly two tools uh, form builder and a report builder. So, form builder is for creating forms and report builder is for creating reports. Okay. So, every application mainly front end applications are divided into two parts forms and reports and forms are created by using form builder and reports are created by using report builder. Okay. So, in, uh, in my uh, like videos, video sessions, so I have shown how to create reports okay and today's session we'll see how to create form so let's open the form builder so this is the form builder so when you open the form builder so by default the form form builder form created with one so that is module one form is created see forms are created for what forms are mainly created for dml operations and the reports are created for select display. So, we create forms for insertion, updation, deletion. For inserting the data, updating the data, deleting the data, we create forms. We can also do this using SQL plus like Toad or SQL developer. We can also insert, update and delete. But the thing is, so it is completely SQL plus what is that is uh, CUI based character user interface. You have to type the commands. But this is what a front end GUI graphical user interface. Okay, so for developers, okay, but for end users, uh, they can't type the insert command, update command, delete command because they are not technical. So they, we need to provide a, a user friendly uh, environment to the end user for insertion, updation, deletion. That user friendly environment is form. So, using these forms they can easily insert, update and delete. So, if the if they know how to enter the values in text boxes, how to click the button that is all. They do not need SQL knowledge, they do not need uh, okay, PL SQL, they do not need SQL. If they, if they know how to enter the values in text box, how to click the button, they can do this insert, update and delete operations. Okay. So, let us see how to create a form. So, this forms comes with like number of uh, objects, okay. Uh, one is blocks, canvases, LOs, LOVs, editors, parameters, okay, property classes, visual attributes. So, this forms comes with uh, number of objects, but one of the main object is block, okay, blocks. So, this is data blocks. Now, one of the main object is data blocks. So, what for this data blocks? Okay, then you can assume like it is a table. Every data block is associated with what table? Okay, na? so every data block is associated with table. So, first we will create one data block. Okay, then because I want to create a form. So, in this form, uh, I want to uh, perform operations on uh, employees. So, I want to insert new employees data, I want to delete the employees data, I want to update the employees data. So, I want to perform employee operations on employees. So, then create one data block and let us associate this data block with EMP table. So, select data block, click create button. So, then one is open, use the data block wizard. So, a block can be created by using wizard or a block can be created manually. So, if you want to manually create the block, then select this option. If you want to use wizard, select this first option. First, I will show how to create block using wizard. In uh, later, we will see how to create block manually. Okay, then next. So, you see what I said, every block is associated with uh, table. 
So, it is asking whether you want to create this block based run tabular view or based run stored procedure. You want to create this block based run tabular view or you want to create this block based run stored procedure. Suppose for example, first I want to create the block based run tabular view. Select tabular view next. So, then you type the table name, but I do not know the list of tables. I want to see the list of tables. Then click this browse button. Then it will show the list of tables in uh, Oracle Tenji, Oracle uh, database. So, type the username Scott Tiger at the red server. So, click connect. Then it is showing the list of tables available in Oracle database Scott Tiger. And from this list of tables, you select on which table you want to create the block. I want to create the block on EMP. Select this EMP, click OK. Then it is showing the list of columns available in EMP table. Left side, it is showing the list of columns available in EMP table. And from this list of columns, you select which columns you want to add to the block. Okay, suppose say for example, I want to add all the columns to the block. Then click this, all the columns are added to the block. Next, then. So, block is created, block is created. So, the block is collection of items. Okay, then you can you can assume like this a block is similar to a table and here uh, items are similar to fields of the table. Okay, we brought we created a block EMP block and that block is created with some items. So, each item is corresponds to a field in the table. So, block is created, but I have to place these items on some screen what is that is called canvas okay the item should be placed on some background that background is called canvas so let us create the canvas also okay so in creating the block involves two steps one is creating the block another one creating canvas click finish so block is created and canvas is okay so we need to create the canvas so and layout this is called layout wizard A layout wizard is for creating canvas next so here it is asking do you want to create a new canvas yes and what is the type of the canvas so there are different types of canvases content stacked horizontal toolbar vertical toolbar tabbed canvas like this but let us see first we will set this to content later we will see that what is stacked what is horizontal what is vertical what is tab so content then click next click next and again it is asking which items you want to add to the canvas which items you want to add to the layout okay so like we already added items to the block so this is showing the list of items available in the block and which items you want to add to the canvas suppose for example i want to add all the items to the canvas then click this one all the items are added to the canvas then all the items are displayed on the screen all the items are displayed on layout next so if you want to change like you can change the labels okay then next so it is asking which layout you want to use there are two types of layouts available one is a form another one tablet okay there are two types of layouts form and tablet so use form to display single record and use tablet to display multiple records so when you when you are creating a single record block then use form when you are creating multi record block then use tablet so in this example i, I want to create a record block then i am going for form then so if you want multiple records then select tablet if you select tablet then items are displayed like this like a table and if you select form items are displayed side by side okay then click next so what is the title it is asking so any title you, if you want you can enter the title i am giving the title as employee details employee details next how many records you want to display records to be displayed i want to display suppose one record because i am going for i am creating single record block that is why number of records to be displayed is 1. Next. So, click next. Okay, click finish. When you click finish, then so the block is created. This is called frame 
and this is called canvas. On the canvas, these items are placed. One item is employee number, one is e name, one is job, one is salary, manager number, like this. If you want, you can adjust this. Okay, then. So, I want employee names to be displayed here. I want employee job. I want employee salary next. And I want employee commission. And I want manager number. Next, I want department number. Then, so let me run this. Okay, run this one. So, this is run form, okay. This is runtime environment. This is runtime environment. So, in this in runtime environment, we can insert, we can update, we can delete. So, we can insert the data, we can update the data, we can delete the data, we can view the data. Like suppose I want to view the data. To view the data, so there is a call here execute, okay. There is a call here execute query. So, click this execute query. When you click the execute query, then by default it display the first record. It display the first record. I want to see the second record. Then click the next record. Click next record, next record, next record, previous record. This is, okay, this is previous block. This is next block like this. Okay, to see the, you can see the first record, last record, previous record, next record like this. Okay, then suppose I want to insert a new record. To insert a new record, just click this plus symbol. So, click this plus. When you click the plus, so it goes into edit mode, then insert some new record 99. Suppose employee name, some ABC, job clerk, manager, height date, some salary 5000, commission is 200 department number is 20. Enter the values in text boxes, go to action, save. Then, so the record is inserted. If you want, you can go and see the record. It is inserted into EMP table. Just go and see this. Select star from EMP where employee number equals to 99. So, the record is inserted into table. Okay, we inserted this record from front end form. And the record is inserted into so Oracle database EMP table. Okay, so this is just how to create a form. And not only this, what uh, like displaying and inserting. If you want, you can delete the record also. So I want to delete this record. Remove record. So action save. Okay, record is deleted. Next, I want to edit this. Suppose commission is fourteen hundred. I want to change this commission to two thousand. So, this uh, 7654, this commission is actually 1400. I want to change the commission to 2000. So, just type the commission 2000, then go to action, select save. Then, so just go and check whether commission is changed or not. Select commission from EMP where employee number equal to 7654. So, the commission is changed to 2000. This is called inserting, updating, deleting from uh, forms. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video.